Hey guys, how are you doing today? So I got a lot of requests uh, asking about my settings in OBS. So I'm gonna go over them real quick and I hope I can help you out just a little bit. Let's get right into it. So this is the infinite screen of screens. As you can see, that's because I added a capture of my screen. I usually don't do that. I usually just add my game capture, but I added this to record my OBS settings for you guys. So you can go into properties for this and it will record the display you're on. So I have two displays hooked up right now. I have this display as well, but there's nothing on it right now. So it would be kind of useless recording that one. So I'm just recording my main display here where I have OBS open so I can show you all of my settings. It's quite easy to make another uh, source you just add it right here and then you pick which one you want so for game capture uh, that's the one I use every single time if I record a video a Roblox video a speed built video whatever so I choose for a capture specific window and then when Roblox is open I choose to record Roblox but if you're playing the Sims and you want to record the Sims you will have the option of adding the sims in here so discord is open i can record discord as well but i'm not gonna do that right now so but i don't have roblox open right now so i can't pick that right now but uh it will save when when you click it first so roblox needs to be open before you can add that into your game capture but it once it's in there it stays in there so you don't have to change that setting every time and then for a window match property i just choose a match style otherwise find window same ex executable i don't think i ever changed that so i keep it very basic and just the things i need because i don't want to like change too much in this program because i'm scared i will do something wrong and then for my microphone i'm recording in my full in full sound i don't know why i just i like to do that i hooked up my microphone blue snowball you can you can choose another device here as well but i i use my snowball then for desktop desktop audio i'm not recording it right now but you can also change that in properties you can choose the device you're recording on so that's my screen that's my computer if you have another device you want to record audio from like i don't know another screen or whatever you can do that as well so you can just turn that on and off by clicking like so then in my main settings I'm gonna go right here in general I haven't changed any single thing of this only the language because it's usually in Dutch I change it to English to make this video for stream uh, it's quite simple you get a key from YouTube or whatever service you want to stream on uh, I only have experience with YouTube so I'm gonna go over that and then you paste that uh, key in here and you can show it and if you click OK uh, like so I'm not gonna do that right now but if you click OK and then you go to start streaming you will go live on YouTube so yes it can be very tricky sometimes and sometimes I'm scared to go live that's why I removed the code so I add it in later uh, so I don't accidentally stream something I'm doing or something stupid on my computer uh, just for safety reasons then for output I haven't changed my video bit rate if you want to change it you can do that I just don't see the point of it for encounter encoder I I usually use software uh, but if you have a quite slow computer but you have a good graphics card you might change it to your hardware it will it will it will record on the graphics card then but my computer is strong enough to handle the software uh, to record on, so that's basically up to you. If you man if you see that your video is quite laggy, you c you might change it to hardware and it might be less la laggy for you. For recording path, I use my Google Drive so I can uh, access my files on different computers or devices because I switch devices a lot. I go from my PC to my laptop to my Mac so I can edit videos. I record in uh, MOV. I used to record in MP4, but my videos turned out kind of laggy. Every Ever since I changed it to MOV my videos are less laggy so I'm quite happy about that so I'm gonna keep it at MOV for now it's for me the easiest and the smoothest thing to do so it might be it might not be good for you especially recording in 4k MOV will not be the best thing for you but just for recording Roblox I think it'll do for audio sample rate of uh, 44.1 kilohertz you can change it to 48 kilohertz I don't mind that I, I don't touch that really video output is currently active uh, that's because I'm recording right now for my video I record in uh, 1080p I tend to keep my base and my output the same because sometimes it will cause some um, like some flashing in the screen I don't know how to explain it really there there's like white flashes in the screen if you record in like 
1080p and then the output is 720p sometimes you will have like these uh, lag spikes or pictures or whatever it's kind of weird so I, I tend to keep that the same thing some PCs can't handle 1080p so you might go in a 1280 by 720 or whatever and for the FPS I use 48 FPS I used to record on 29.97 now I change it to 48 but using 60 FPS sometimes it's kind of laggy for me as well so 48 is what I'm sticking with and then for advanced you can choose your file name formatting I kept it at the same thing so the year and it says everything right here if you want to rename it but since I make folders every time I make a video it's very easy for me to find it back so I don't change that really but if you want you to change how your video file is named you can do that right here uh, so that's really easy to do and then some other things I think that's about it to be honest so if your recording works and you're in full screen the entire black thing right here should be filled I think that was it for today if you have any more questions about OBS I'll be glad to help I think I showed you everything I have to show you and it works really well for me so thank you guys so so much for watching hit that like button down below and subscribe